For many years, my team and I have been coming here to teach children to dive. All of us have the same reason for being amongst these children here today. Almost every time we go into the sea, we see these pictures. Pictures that trouble us regarding our marine resources. They neither know nor understand that their behaviour is destroying our marine resources. These days, pristine coral reefs on both the Gulf of Thailand and Andaman sides have been reduced to a mere 5%. Thailand has a total coral reef area of 238 square kilometers. Most coral reefs are scattered around islands and along the coastlines of both the Gulf of Thailand and Andaman sides. We have a total of more than 280 coral species out of the world's almost 800. Sadly, today more than 80% of our coral reefs have been damaged. Whilst 15% are moderately healthy, a very small number remain pristine. Corals' birth and death are a natural process. Corals may be damaged by nature. For example, coral bleaching occurs as a result of an unusual rise in ocean temperatures, which sometimes continues for weeks. However, what causes the most serious damage to corals today is coastal development, stripping of topsoil for construction of roads, hotels or bridges causes soil sediment to be washed into the sea. Release of wastewater and improper waste disposal also result in a massive amount of marine debris. Most tragically, marine tourism activities are amongst the most serious causes of coral destruction. Hardly anybody realises that live or dead corals held in their hands or displayed in their home aquariums are legally protected as endangered animals. Anyone found in possession of corals or having caused any damage to them is subject to a fine or even imprisonment. Needless to say, the biggest threat to corals is human activities. ที่เราจะไปอ่าลงนําน้ําแบบสกินได้กันนะที่เราได้ฝึกมาแล้วเรื่องอุปกรณ์ต่างๆเดี๋ยวตรงนี้ให้ทุกคนเดินลงไปที
A coral reef is a home, food source and shelter for a wide range of marine creatures. Damage to corals means destruction of their home and source of food. Finally, some marine creatures disappear. Corals' extremely slow growth depends on the temperature and salinity of seawater and proper amount of light. Each year, a mound of corals may grow only one to two centimeters bigger. Imagine how long it will take for an entire coral reef to be formed. Even if a small part of the coral reef is damaged, it will take years for the reef to be restored to its original condition. A coral reef is an important source of food for humans. It is also a natural barrier against waves and currents. In addition, it produces grains of sand for a beach. Fragments of corals damaged by waves break into tiny pieces and end up as grains of sand on the seabed and shores. We adhere to the principle that merely teaching children to dive is not enough, but we must also educate them to become conscientious travellers. To educate them, we need to inspire them to understand, love and cherish their natural resources through their actions. We ourselves try to gain relevant knowledge and build a constructive mindset first so that we can pass them on to these new generation children. Our first activity, which concerns conservation of resources and the environment, focuses primarily on marine debris, a critical problem with an increasingly serious effect on marine animals and the food chain. We also work as coral rehabilitation volunteers under supervision of marine ecology scholars and specialists. And now we have been introduced to green fins for the first time. Green Fins is a project whose primary principle is to preserve coral reefs and promote sustainable tourism based on eco-friendly regulations and practices. Their principle is consistent with the intention and objective of our diving course for these children. Green Fins has created a network of diving businesses that adopt eco-friendly practices. Members of the network also contribute to coral reef monitoring and inspection. Without hesitation, we have decided to be part of the Green Fins project. And now we are ready for the simple task of checking a coral reef's condition, or reef watch. นอกจากที่เราจะไปเพลิดเพลินจะไปดำน้ำเล่นไปสกินไดฟ์หรือจะไปสกูบ้าดูปลากระลังดูสัตว์น้ำแล้วเราสามารถที่จะเป็นผู
one day they will succeed us and assume this responsibility. Every time we have a diving activity, we emphasize the importance of modern divers' responsibility for conservation of natural resources and the environment. We can simply begin by not giving food to fish in the sea. Such a practice not only affects fish's health, but also changes their feeding behavior, causing the ecosystem's balance and natural processes to deteriorate. This, in turn, increases the destruction of coral reefs. We must not collect corals or any marine animals as souvenirs. This practice is both illegal and detrimental to the ecosystem. We must not step or stand on a coral reef. Those unable to skillfully swim or dive must wear life vests to keep them floating over a coral reef. Scuba divers must ensure that their projecting devices, such as gauges and alternate air hoses, do not catch any corals and damage them. Divers should kick their fins slowly to avoid dispersing sand or sediment over corals. Also, divers should avoid wearing gloves whilst diving. With gloves on, they tend to touch or pick objects in a coral reef with less care, damaging the corals in the process. If anyone wishes to be an underwater photographer, they must possess a good buoyancy control skill so as to avoid causing damage to corals and other marine animals. They must be able to evaluate the surroundings of the target area prior to arrival, making sure not to move too close to corals or other animals and not to let their equipment make contact with them. They must never chase, catch, stir or disturb any living creatures whilst taking photographs. They must neither place their cameras on a coral reef nor move any natural objects to create a desired scene. They must practice how to slowly dive backward in such a way that no accidental damage occurs to any corals. Finally, responsible divers must actively support resources and environmental conservation activities. อ่าต่อไปเราจะเก็บไม่ผู้ป่วยป่วยไม่เก็บนะฮะแล้วพวกประกันหลังเก็บได้มั้ยไม่ไม่ควรเก็บเช่นเดียวกันนะมันจะอ